Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tarot Talk with Terry. I um, hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, and before I go any further, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Jeanette Pickering uh, on her channel. I didn't know she had a channel till recently. So, uh, and she's a, a, a longtime follower. So, uh, I'm going to put her name down in the description box below. Why don't you all go and check her out? There. I've been meaning to do that for several days and I keep forgetting. Oh, shoot. I was going to read the tarot from uh, from the deck Sherry got me. But I misplaced my booklet for it. It was right here. But it's buried somewhere now on my desk. Where I do not know. Well, I will find it and I will read them tomorrow. That'll be my goal for today to find that booklet. I just have so much stuff on my desk. You would not believe. And I know it's in there. I'm that organized. I know it's in this 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 stack of papers and books and other stuff, but uh, beats me exactly where it's at. Okay, so instead today I'm going to be reading from the Universal uh, Celtic Tarot or Celtic, whichever you prefer. I say both, just depending on I don't know just depending on what mood I'm in, I guess I don't know. I don't have any real rules to it. I just just they're interchangeable to me. And then after this, I will be choosing another card from another deck, which is newer that I haven't shown you yet. So I'll just say it's uh, my card steals and deals. How's that? I would say tarot, but they're a mixture. Um, okay, I can say, yes, I can say they're not, not tarot cards, so I can say they're oracle card steals and deals, to be more precise. How's that? All right, let's see what we got. Oh, you have the seven of wands. The element is earth. The astrological association, Mars in Leo. Numerologically, it's seven. In the tree of life position, it's Netzach. The sphere of endurance, instinct, and desire. Key meanings are courage, effort, and challenges. Now, the Seven of Wands reveals obstacles in your path, but you will keep going and overcome them. 
success is in reach. The card is particularly relevant to work and career matters and highlights all negotiations. Regardless of how difficult the conversation becomes, there's a need to keep talking and stay in conversation until you are satisfied with the outcome. You will need to stand tall and be and by being very clear on your position, you can win. There's a noble aspect, too, about this card, and it often comes up in a reading to show you may be defending others, not just your own interests. In this sense, the Seven of Wands is the card of the advocate, and you may find you need to stand up for those who are not able to speak for themselves. Morally, it is important for you now so the seven of wands shows you may become a spokesperson for a group such as a committee or a jury the task isn't an easy one but you will persist in relationships there are hurdles and you may need to fight for love this can be temporary however so by all means stand up for your relationship in short term provided you are sure your partner will return your loyalty to me also, you know, this card is also kind of the card of squabbles and stuff. And uh, it can also mean an unequal struggle if you are fighting against invisible beings. Or it could mean an adversary is there or will appear. So, yes, this has several meanings. Now... For my steals and deals, here's one of them, and I think I'll go with this one. I'm going to be reading from these, this new deck, the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Cards. And I've never done these readings before, so... Bear with me a bit. I might be a little bit green on these. Nope. Oh, these comes with jokers. Unusual deck. I'm going to do a little bit of shuffling with these. So with this one, there's always, it always deals with some sort of adversity of some sort. You fighting against adversity. Or a challenge, a struggle. But coming out ahead. All right. Oh. They all want to be read, but no. Okay. Well, you have the Ace of Hearts. And this says, the fox in close proximity augurs distrust of acquaintances who are seeking to betray you. Distinct, less danger. So, basically, this is fortifying what this card is saying. Someone is going to betray you. But distinct, someone in particular, less danger. They're not as big of a threat as what you'd, you'd think they were. Someone's going to betray you. Yeah, it'll happen. I don't think it'll be anything major. You know, it'd be somebody that 
really isn't all that important to you to begin with, maybe, and you can just brush it off and put it in the past and go about your life. That's my take on it. I don't know. You you might be able to relate to it in other ways. And if you can, that's great. Okay. Pretty cool. How they just seem to line right up. Two different decks out of the blue. But okay, while I'm at it, I also picked up the Dark Mirror Oracle cards. And this is the Los Garabeo Astrological Oracle Cards. So they're all pretty cool. And that's my steals and deals for you today. Um, anyway, hope you have a blessed Tuesday. Peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. And until tomorrow, take care. Bye-bye. Oh, I didn't like them today. I'll pretend.